A goal of my channel has been to give a mental break from these crazy times we're in right now, and hopefully you've noticed that with my frequent live streams and my videos. However, we all have probably had family members, friends, people online make comments about us shaving our beard, sending us links about shaving our beard, telling us misinformation about shaving our beard, so I thought I needed to make a video with the information that I have gathered and that I understand. This video is for you to think. This video is food for thought. I am by no means claiming to be an expert. I am not shoving an agenda down your throat. I'm not even giving a message and delivering a solid point. I'm just going to collect all of my thoughts and angles for having a beard currently, shaving your beard, wearing a mask properly, and anything else to go with us during this madness that we're living through right now. And if you are new here, my name is Dan C. Bearded. This channel is about beards. If you enjoy learning about beards, consider subscribing and check out the video. And please let me know your thoughts with some comments down below. Beards have been the scapegoat in situations just like this for generations. In the 1890s, nurses would shave the beards of their patients in fear of catching something. In 1901, milkmen were required to shave their beards so they did not give other people something. There have been countless publications about how dirty beards are and fake news about why you should shave your beards. And there are actually very contradictory reports on any truth to that. There are legit studies to show the opposite. There's a professor from the University of Pennsylvania that says beards are actually cleaner and not as much of a carrier as someone with a fresh, clean shaven face. And the reason behind that is every time you shave, you're having little bits of trauma to your face, little micro cuts, and those cuts are more likely to hold on and grab germs as opposed to something like a beard. So just again, a little food for thought there. Do I need to shave? From what I've gathered, most experts are saying the average person does not need to shave their beard. These high-grade facial masks should actually be saved for medical workers, first responders, and other essential workers that are in that situation, and that that shaving does not aid the average person on a daily basis. And most vendors selling these high-grade facial masks are actually limited to where they can sell it, to actual registered medical facilities. Now, let's break down those masks real quick. Everybody's heard about the N95 mask. Well, the N95 mask is popular right now because it is designed to keep particles out. Nothing gets in through your nose and through your mouth. The other masks that we see, like surgeon's masks and all those other ones on the street, those are meant to keep things in. So something to just consider there, the N95 does need a seal, and if you do need to wear an N95 mask as a medical worker or a similar situation, you likely do need to shave your beard, but for most of you watching this channel, that's not required. You do not need to. But if you do, don't worry, it is just facial hair. It will grow back after this situation. Help out those, and if you're in that situation, thank you for what you do. It is greatly appreciated by everyone, not, in our, not only in our country, but in the whole world. Does wearing a mask or other forms of facial protection help while you have a beard? Well, it may not be perfect, but wearing something even with a big beard can help in two main ways. The first way is it is going to prevent you from mindlessly touching your mouth or your nose. Before this current situation, I don't think people realized how much they were putting their fingers in around their mouth, around their nose, and just simply putting a mask or a bandana over your face is going to help you think about that and prevent that. And the second way, which in this current situation, this current virus, is seeming like it's increasingly more valuable, by wearing a mask, it can help protect others from people that don't know they have the virus, right? One of the big things is we have asymptomatic people. They have this Corona-19 COVID virus, but they don't realize it. And when they have that mask, they're helping everybody else. So those are the two main ways that wearing something, even with a beard, even for the average person is gonna help. But of course, it can hurt as well. 
If you're wearing that mask improperly and you're touching it, you're resetting it, then you can get that contact problem, that contact uh, virus, and that becomes an issue. But overall, it's not a bad practice. It's not something that is likely going to make a major change or a major hurt to you. And maybe above all, maybe it brings some peace, some mental stability to you if you have to go get groceries or you have to go out and run an errand for something that is essential. Now, that I hope answered the information for you guys on that question. Final thoughts, I put some things down in the description for you guys to read, especially for those of you that like to dive a little bit deeper. And I hope you appreciate that this video has a positive tone. This is nothing about fear. This is nothing about clickbait. It's just something that kept coming up over and over again. And I thought I had some angles for you to think about. As I said to start, this is just simply food for thought. Not me telling you what to do, not me trying to squash, smash anything, just giving you information and hoping that you guys are thinking about it. So if you have any questions, if you have any comments, please leave them down below. All I ask is that you keep it in a positive tone. We're not trying to bring people down, get people worried. I'm trying to clear your mind. I'm trying to help people get through this tough time, this situation, and we will. We will be all right, and we're going to be better because of this, and I appreciate everything that you guys have done for me to help my mind, my family, and all overall this situation. So again, guys, my name is Dan C. Bearded. I hope that especially after this video, you stay bearded and you stay positive.